hey what's up guys um <laughs> this is my post review on the christmas gnomes or the ho 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 gnomes as i've been calling them um <laughs> that i got from amazon i did an unboxing a few months ago along with some hocus pocus pics and my amazon haul video but i wanted to wait till you know closer to christmas to get it done so here i am so um <laughs> but i um, just wanted to do a, a review just to show you how um how it turned out and what i liked and disliked about it but before i get into that let's talk about the stats just as a refresher or if you missed that video um this actually doesn't have a name for it um <laughs> so the guy from amazon i don't unless i missed it um some some pics on amazon do have names and some don't i don't think this had a name but i called it the ho 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 gnomes just because ho 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 and they're gnomes um <laughs> anyways but it's a 40 by 30 centimeters or 16 by 12 inches um it has 16 colors and you can't see the legends. There's one up here and one down here. But I put washi tape around the borders because there's some glue that goes past the um, canvas right here. And so to stop um, stuff getting stuck there, like I have cats and a puppy and just random stuff. I'm not... I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> used to get stuck to my older pics. And so, you know, I saw um, one of the diamond art groups that I'm in that they put wash, they put the washi tape around it to stop that. So I'm like in love with that now because that's awesome. So I try to get washi tape to match my pictures as best as I can. So that's what that is. That's not part of the picture. That's something I got from Timu Christmas. I don't think I did a video showing. I think I did. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I know I did it. I don't know. But anyways, one day I will do a video showing all of my washi tape. So if you want to check that out, you should subscribe. Definitely. Um, <laughs> anyways, I started this on December 3rd and finished it on December 10th. But I only worked on it for three days. And, um, I didn't work not three days straight. I think it was one. I think it was just the third, and then I worked on it the ninth and the tenth, or I forgot. But I do have the Gem Flows app. If you do diamond painting, you should get that downloaded. It's a great place to log all your diamond art pics, and um, so you can see your stash, especially if you're large one. You can also log your um time that you worked on your pic, the date you started. That you got it, that you finished, and um, that helped out a lot. I really enjoy doing that, seeing my progress. And also, when I done paint, I like to light a Bath and Body Works candle. That's um, another store that gets a lot of my money besides Amazon and Timu and Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I use I um lit the sh um sugared snickerdoodle candle. This and it's all gone. It's done. It was finished. Um, right after I um finished this pick, I was finishing another smaller pick, <laughs> and it just went out. So I was like, uh, I'll just wait till I start my new pick to get a new candle. <laughs> but this stuff, it smelled. This this scent carried through my entire house. Um, some don't do that as well, but this one really did. Even in my room and bathroom, whose doors were closed, I opened them and I could smell that even hours later. So, that's a little advertisement for my body works. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, talk about what I liked and didn't like about this picture, first of all. This picture is so cute. I love it. I did use a ruler. Oh, I should have brought it upstairs with me, my bad. Um, but that's um, another video I'll do showing you my accessories for diamond painting. But I did use my rulers on here to help out a lot. But some of them, um, still some of the lines didn't match up really well. But um, I think that could just be how I had the ruler. I don't know, because some places it just, the ruler seemed like it matched up. And in other places... It showed. I'm gonna zoom in some. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 
you can see um lots of color blocking with the black 310s which of course gave me some problems but as with any company that has 310s um that's one of the most popular colors to have in a diamond art pick so there's a lot of problems with them being too small too too small too big or just really trashy and some of these were kind of dusty like my um hocus pocus picture pictures um there's just a lot of um i don't know if you can call it dust but um <laughs> oh but anyways a lot of debris that was in the containers and then poured it out into my trays and then it just got into my putty and my pen and stuff it's just <clears throat> yeah and the color blocking got kind of annoying when i do pick i don't mind color blocking color blocking is when you have a lot of um the same color in a small area so written here lots of black right here of course up here especially up here that's why i did up here first so like get most of that out of the way then you get down further and you got more of the colorful stuff down here and then confetti is when you have uh some color changes in a small area like right in here oh, let's see if i can oh wow that went really deep in there <laughs> see around the nose and in the present that's 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 a little bit of confetti there um go back up <laughs> um but i did really love the colors i did throw out the three tins i don't need any more well one because they're a little trashy and two because i have plenty from other picks that i've done so i don't need to save any of those but i did save the rest of the colors especially the reds and the greens especially this green green is one of my favorite colors and that green is so beautiful i love it um and i didn't have that color so definitely good that i had it and also on this picture the canvas is if you see here this is coming up <laughs> i don't know how this started but it did and i thought oh i just pull it off but then you know it's just more came off the more I pulled it and I was like oh my goodness it's just it's really this side um was it this to this side no it's just that side oh a little over here let me see a little blinding and a little on the bottom but not so much also I couldn't really get the middle to lay down very well which is weird because I usually set something heavy on it because when it comes, it came folded, which most pictures will come folded or rolled, but you can usually just, um, some companies, their pictures, you know, you can just roll them out backwards and they'll come out. Or if you fold it, I usually put like, you know, my husband's a book reader, so he's got a lot of heavy books. So I just pile those up on top, but this still didn't really work out very well. So this canvas was kind of annoying to work on, but I love the after the finished product. Um, yeah, that's too far in. <laughs> but I really love the finished product on here. I think it turned out really well, and um, and just need to do a pick that doesn't have that much color blocking, especially with the three especially with the 310 um i don't think my next pick will have that much but um i will be doing an unboxing for that as well and that's all i had to say about this picture um have you done this pick before or would you like to do the pick um i will place the link to the pick in the description below i don't know if um amazon's still selling this it was a few months ago and sometimes when stuff sells out i don't at some of the stuff that i bought it sells out and i don't ever see it come back because i want to do a review after i finish it and i can't find it <sighs> oh well <laughs> anyways but i will link it below if i still see it on there and if you want to see the unboxing for this i will link that at the end of the video for you to go and check out 
And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's for more diamond art videos, reviews, unboxings, and whatnot. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Hopefully, maybe. 